live in a country that's run by the rich for the rich. It's even harder when the police are coming and telling you to move on all the time. Anonymous, obviously, is just an idea. Anyone can partake. to Anonymous when they first became mainstream really, mainly because of the work that they do and the fact that it's, it's a collective of a lot of different campaigns all in one. I mean there's all kinds of different causes people come here for. Such a difficult thing to pinpoint because there are so many fragmented groups. Well, my, my main issue at the moment is TTIP, which is the, the corporate grab basically. Mainly internet censorship, public censorship in general. I'm up against surveillance. They're surveilling the whole of the country at the moment. Everybody's under surveillance. Oh, that's a bit really. Some, some laughs. Yeah, just touch it out. We're personally homeless activists. We run an anonymous street team. We work closely with a tight knit community to help the homeless through the box safe winter. Just humanity. We just got to give it back. It's horrendous, you know. Every day you just read the papers of how many people's died. It was so, it's so sad. Op Safe Winter started originally in America called Op Ellie, and then come the winter, Nottingham did a massive protest and found a homeless guy. And that led to a video being released of everyone making money for him. And, and Op Safe Winter was born in England, you know, in the UK, and just basically took off. I'm one of the original ones, there's lots of us, and we all do our own projects and we work as just one big team. No one takes credit for anything. We all have our own Op Safe Winters in every town, you know, city across the world. Op Safe Winter is literally to go straight out into your community, try and find any homeless you've got in the, in the area, and just literally give out a sandwich. Or a, or a drink, and then you can build on that. We just put calls out for sleeping bags, tents, hats, gloves, scarves, food. There isn't places you can go to and just get a complete new set of clothes. So we help them with that. You know, sleeping bags, you can't just go into a charity and say, have you got a sleeping bag? Because they don't give them out. We make up little rucksacks, you know, we're full of toiletries and hand them out to people so they can get washed. Because obviously the guys who, who go to these events are literally on the ground. There's no rejection of anyone. Anyone can come, any age. We're just basically the, the ground crew. We just I know there's charities there to help afterwards, but we just help for that one night, you know, to keep them warm and dry. You know, we're getting nice sleeping bags and stuff like that. And, you know, it's just it's nice that these people take their time out to come and help us. It's just overwhelming me. It, you know what I mean? It upsets me because people do actually care. I get more care off these than I do my own family. You know, they come round, they'll give you a hug. And do you know how much that means to somebody when you're homeless? It means the world. A lot of people just walk past you and just look down at you and just downgrade you straight away. They don't care about you. But these people come out and give you a helping hand. We wouldn't have nothing, nothing at all if it weren't for them. I don't think the government have a care or a say in the world or what happens to us. I mean, I'm sat in my spot right now. This is where I sleep at night. And the police will come and move me on. It's downgrading enough just living here. So it's even harder when the police are coming and telling you to move on all the time. Because it's Christmas, they want all the homeless off the streets because it looks bad for shoppers. Go and give them red cards and yellow cards. Get your first yellow card for basically being sat there, red card, and then you're out. They do this in every city now. Big banners everywhere, don't give money to homeless. The idea is don't help them, and then the charities will do that work. But we're just finding the failing. You know, there's, there's some good charities out there, but a lot of them now are just making money. It's hard because, I mean, I've been there years ago. I used to walk past homeless and just think, bum you know on the floor people care more about a dog now than a human they'll just walk and stand over a human if it's a dog they'll be all crouched on the floor you know trying to find its owner and things you know nobody cares that's the problem they don't look down but they don't realize it could be them next week
it's just getting bigger and bigger every year because obviously homelessness is just going up and up and up. In my area alone, it's doubled and there isn't the beds from under the umbrella of Rob Safe Winter. There's a little outreach group set up all over the UK. I know Kiki in uh, Peterborough, I've just helped them with a caravan, so we're going to convert that into a you know, full on catering trailer for them. There's about 12 of us in total. We are all volunteer based, so non profit, self funded, and we get together every week and we give them hot food. And then we also hand out clothes, shoes, sleeping bags and things like that. We knew we wanted to do something in collaboration with OpSafe Winter, but we couldn't use a venue on that day, so we had to do it the day after. And the church offered to allow us to use their venue to do the Christmas dinner. We started a shoebox appeal a couple of months before the actual day so the general public could donate a shoebox full of things like aftershaves and gifts for the homeless, hat, scarf, gloves and that kind of thing. And then we put them under the tree. We had a hairdresser come in to cut their hair. I know it means a lot, an awful lot, especially the friendship, if nothing else, the friendship or the security knowing that there's somebody there they can go to. The first time I went was 2014 with Op Safe Winter in Nottingham. We started walking around the streets and feeding them with sandwiches and crisps and things like that. And then eventually, four or five months down the line, we decided to start feeding them hot food. Everything we do is out of our own pocket. We only just started getting any kind of donations. If somebody walks past and says, oh, here's some money, which is like a tenner here or a fiver there. What they do is they put people in poverty, cutting people's housing benefit, cutting people's tax credits, they can't afford to pay the rent, and they're hindering it by arresting them for begging. You find them, they've got no job, they've got no money to pay for that. The last one, we actually paid it for him because we knew there was no way he was going to pay it. Got no opportunity. You go from the care system, you go to the streets, and then you go into the prison system. They're profiting from you the entire time. There's a lot gets pushed under the carpet. Official figures are absolutely horrendous. You know, it's like, I think it was 14 for the whole of last year. But I've helped probably 14 in my own town just in the last few months. That's how silly it is now. You know, they just believe what all these big firms are saying. But yeah, we're just trying to get awareness. That's basically my job now. I've left my old group of running the kitchen to now be, be more of an awareness campaign. And that's what I sort of try and tend to do now, travelling around. That's why I'm building this camper we have kitchen units and stuff here in the fridge and grills and the oven so we can do a mini street kitchen got the office space here we can you know get people in off the street sit down in the dry hot cup of tea talk to them find out what they need but literally it's for cupboard space we've got all your rucksacks up here most rucksacks got sleeping bags in the back tents in the back we're not there as an answer and we can't fix the problem you know it's got to be from higher up but the council just don't want to spend any money there's no mental health no more you know, everything's been taken away and stripped away and it's pushed into the cities now. Nottingham at the moment, there's up ground zero. Council said there's no homelessness. So they went, right, we'll prove it then. And they set up a tent and then another tent and another tent. I think they're on day six now and they've got 24 tents up with homeless people in. Straight outside this train station, 100 yards from the council offices. The council, as of today, are actually there trying to victim now for trespassing, but it's just bringing awareness. That's how we have to do it now. We have to be literally on the streets, in the faces. Within day two, the police or the council actually offered to pay everyone to put in a hotel. And all of them turned it down. They said, no, we want full support. You know, there just isn't enough places. This is a problem. There's a lot of harsh punishment going on for people. I've had a, quite a few friends go down for a few months here and there for things that really is just raising awareness. And also, if they are out on the streets and they refuse to move and stuff, a lot of people have been arrested. I know there was a group on a roof to try and stop an elderly man from being evicted in Nottingham, and all of them got arrested. And I think it caused a lot of problems. It made people wary of doing those kind of things. I think. Jedi, I'm not sure, possibly started Op Safe Winter. He's been a massive inspiration to me. And I know that each person is an inspiration on the next person. I hope I can be on somebody too. I mean, years I've had my mask and everything else, but now, you know, I think they all know me. I'm just the Jedi. I had to come out. I had to take the mask off because 
you can't deal with the public when you're trying to raise awareness and things like that. But I have so many good friends now just donating all sorts of things to me to help. You know, it's amazing. Obviously, for anonymous, just being a family to me. We've had a bit of bad publicity, but this is our sort of baby campaign now. Follow the hashtag OpSafeWinter. That will bring up so much on Facebook, Twitter. You know, they can always come and follow me, ask me any questions they want, I'll help. We're just trying to create a massive campaign now of, of good. Anonymous, obviously, is just an idea. Anyone can partake. There doesn't need to be a mask. There doesn't need to be no identity, this, that, the other. It doesn't need to be anything. It's the idea of corruption in the system and people collectively coming together to make change. Amazing. We've never had this as homeless people. This is uh, astonishing. And thank you very much.